Good morning. My name is David Greenfield. I'm the council member from the 44th District in Brooklyn. I'm privileged to serve as the chair of the Land Use Committee. I want to welcome my esteemed colleagues who are members of the committee. Councilmember Gentili, Councilmember Palma, Councilmember Mealy, Councilmember Mendez, Councilmember Rodriguez, Chair Ku, Councilmember Rose, Chair Richards, Councilmember Cohen, Councilmember Gredenchik, and Chair Salamanca. And Councilmember Torres and Councilmember Reynoso. <laughs> I want to thank Chair Salamanca, Chair Richards, and Chair Ku for their outstanding work on our land use subcommittees, especially Chair Salamanca for his work this morning. Today we'll be voting on the Edwins Place rezoning, LU 792 through 795. In this application, HPD is seeking a rezoning from an R6 to an R7-2C2-3. The zoning text amendment to establish an MIH area, a special permit to allow community facility Floria to apply to nonprofit supporting housing, an urban development action area designation, and project approval, and to dispose of city owned property. These approvals facilitate the development of an eight story, 125 unit supportive housing development with ground floor retail and community space located at 3 Livonia Avenue in Council Member Mila's district. Just before this meeting, the planning subcommittee voted on a recommendation to approve the application. This recommendation was in accordance with Council Member Mila's recommendation for the application. We'll also be voting to approve this application, but first, if the council member would like, I would invite council member Mealy to make a statement on the application. Would you like to make a statement, council member? Thank you. Yes, um, I just want to thank my colleagues um, for this opportunity, for your support also, and I just want to thank Breaking Grounds for giving their input in our community just as well. And I want to thank my mayor for the three centers that we're getting in, our, in Brownsville community now. And I want to thank Mark Traeger, my co-leader of the Brooklyn delegation, for being a real trooper with me. And Annabelle Palmer, let's give, I want to thank you, Ralph, um, Raphael, and David Greenfield. I want to thank you all for all that you all have done. And Brownsville is better off now. Even in my departure, we still will have what the community needs, and that's a boxing gym, a dance theater, um, and an anchor bank, an MCU. So I want to thank the mayor and all my colleagues. And thank you, Breaking Ground, for the input that you've given to the community. Thank you. And I thank you very much, Council Member. I want to uh, congratulate everyone involved over here as well. I uh, want to recognize we've been talking to Council Members William and Lander as well. I uh, want to uh, just state that I actually had the privilege of serving uh, for a few years as co-chair along with Councilmember Mealy uh, at the Brooklyn delegation and she uh, is someone who is completely dedicated to her constituents in a way that very few council members are and her achievement today which was taking a project and creating a holistic wraparound service for this project was really uh, astonishing and some of the highlights is just worth noting for the record in terms of her accomplishments. This project now includes 51 units of traditional affordable housing, including one bedrooms, two bedrooms, and three bedrooms. That is all at the assistance of this council member. The project now includes $350,000 in annual funding to support operation of a local community boxing gym to help make sure that there are services for the community. This project includes a commitment that which is important that there's going to be a holistic use, including a renovation of the Brownsville Recreation Center a project that is estimated to costing approximately $16.5 million, which is to the council members' credit as well. And the project also includes a commitment from Breaking Ground that there will be staff on site 24 hours a day, seven days a week. There's going to be exterior and inter interior closed circuit TV monitors to ensure security. And Breaking Ground is now committed to programming for seniors as well. And I just want to point to folks that, you know, people routinely wonder and try to understand why it is that we have council input on these projects, and this is why, because none of those things that I would have mentioned, not the $350,000 in funding, not the upgrades to the Brownsville Recreational Center for $16.5 million, not the complete change of the project where there's now going to be 51 units of standard affordable housing, one bedroom, two bedrooms, and three bedrooms, none of that would have happened without Councilmember Mealy's insistence, and I can assure you that late into the night, she was working together with her co-chair, and I want to recognize him as well, Councilmember Mark Traeger, to negotiate these details with the administration. I was uh, happy to work together with Chair Salamanca on this as well, and uh, our future Deputy Commissioner, who played a significant role. And we want to thank you as well, 
Councilmember Palma, for your work, and of course, you may in the mayor's office, who is very instrumental, and Jordan from HPD, and the folks at Breaking Ground who would partner with us. And this is a true partnership because, in the end of the day, the city has needs, but how those needs get matched up in the individual districts is exactly what this council is all about. And that's what we saw here today, and this is really a great success. So, congratulations, Councilmember Amelia, and I thoroughly recommend a I vote on this project. Committee Clerk Matthew Stefano, Committee on Land Use, Roll Call on LU 792, 793, 794, and 795. All right, Chair Greenfield. I vote aye. Gentile. With my congratulations to my friend Darlene Mealy, I vote aye. Palma. With many congratulations to Darlene Mealy for a job well done, I vote aye. Mealy. I want to thank everyone for their support, and I vote aye. Else, thank you, Raju, also. And Amy Levitan. <laughs> Mendez. Rodriguez. Rodriguez. No. Ku. Um, with congratulations to uh, Councilmember uh, Mili, I uh, vote aye. Lander. I enthusiastically vote aye. Rose. Congratulations to Council Member Mealy, and um, I, I'm really proud of her stalwart advocacy for the community. And um, you're to be commended for all the amenities that you've gotten for that community. Thank you. She vote aye. And my uh, and my vote is aye. Un segundito, no. Williams. Pass. Richards. Uh, congratulations, Councilmember Milley. I vote aye. Cohen. Aye. Reynoso. Uh, congratulations to Councilmember Milley and the community who, um, after, after this, I think everyone's going to be happy. I hope you rejoice and have a great party in your district for it. <laughs> congratulations, and I vote aye. Torres. I do vote aye. Traeger. With congratulations to my colleague and my co-chair of the Brooklyn delegation who hit a grand slam home run at the bottom of the ninth inning of both his vote and her term, I proudly vote aye. Grodenchik. Aye. Salamanca. I want to congratulate Councilmember Mealy. Job well done. I vote aye. Councilmember Rodriguez. I would like to congratulate my colleague and also like to for the record being clear that the council will continue relying on the local council member decision and how they negotiate it. I know that there were a lot of pressure in this process, but for all of us, this was about we will continue the culture where there's any rezoning. We will rely on the local council member to negotiate, and here we are to support you. With that, I vote aye. Councilmember Levin. Congratulations to Councilmember Mealy. I vote aye. Williams. May I excuse me, my vote? Councilmember Williams to explain his vote. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Appreciate that. Uh, I actually want to say uh, congratulations uh, to, to Councilmember Mealy um, on your way out. You left a, a great gift uh, to Brownsville. I think you also showed the power of no, and so um, I think it's important that people recognize that as well too quickly uh, say yes, but this is a, I think this is a fantastic project, uh, and I just want to congratulate you on the negotiations that uh, happened and the final, result, the final result. Um, I still still believe, and I know my colleagues say something different, we do have to have conversations uh, uh, about member deference, and it's not specific to this case, just in general. Uh, I think it's important that we have a conversation about it, uh, that, uh, uh, Mr. Chair, uh, about what it means uh, to the entire city. And that's a, I think that's an important conversation to have. Uh, but here, just congratulations is just a very, on a very job very well done. I just want to say that. And I do want to shout out um, uh, Breaking Ground and uh, EBC, Metro IOF, IAF, and uh, my personal pastor, Dr. Uh, David Keith Brawley, uh, for what they did uh, here and just what they're trying to do in housing uh, in general across the city. Congratulations again, and I vote aye. For, for more of the conversation on member deference, you can uh, go to City and State and watch the animated conversation that Councilmember Williams and I had the other day, and it's online, which is what Councilmember Williams is referring to. 
By a vote of 18 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, the items have been adopted. This concludes the Land Use Committee of Thursday, November 16, 2017. Congratulations to everyone. The Land Use Committee is hereby adjourned.